why we had to come up with four competencies. Why 4D, 4E, why? So let's talk, think about ICT again. Let's revisit ICT in education. What does that mean to have ICT in school? Is that you know, something that uh, make principal's job easier, teacher's job simpler? Is this what I've seen so many times? Many of you have seen this for, uh, slide, but uh, let me uh, go, over, go over again. And this is a you know, scene I've seen many times in schools when I travel around the country. The computers, brand new computers, a nice classroom collecting dust and covered usually the blanket. Why? Why is it not being used? There are many reasons. You know, some people are afraid of making trouble. Some people are afraid of you know, breaking things. But you know, mainly, People don't know why. Why they need to use the IC tools. I always said what matters is the strategy, not the technology. You know, I, I believe Rwanda needs to have the strategy first before providing technology. But that has happened. We cannot go back in time. So what can we do now? We need to focus on strategy, not the te technology, from now on. So, CAD is focusing on why. Because people don't know why, they don't need to use any technology. They need to know why first, and then they think about how to use, and then they begin to use. That's what, what I've seen across the world, especially in US and Korea. You believe you know, US is different from Korea? The same. Teachers are the same. Korea, the same. We had the same problem 20, 30 years ago. US. I've been working with teachers back in the US. They have the same problem. If they don't know why, they don't use. If they don't have strategy, they don't use. So we are focusing on why. So let's revisit ICT. What ICT is for? Why we, do we need ICT? Anybody? Keep quiet, those who already know the answer. What do we use for? What do we use ICT for? Why we need to have ICT? What does that ICT do for us? You know, you may have maybe 100 different answers, all correct. Nothing's wrong. There's no correct or wrong answers to these questions. However, you know, usually long answers is incorrect. You know, I would say maybe just one key word that summarize why ICT. Anybody? Let me give you a keyword I think that captures everything and summarize everything and captures the essence. This is what ICT for. ICT is meant to give us ability and tools to connect. What do we connect? What do we connect? Information, communication, technology. What does that connect? Inf yeah? Connect people. Information. ICT is connecting people, places, information. And also another name for ICT. It's called enabler. OK. With ICT, we couldn't do something that we wished for, wished to do in the past. ICT enables us to a lot of different things that without, uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it without ICT. Then, what is ICT in education? What are we trying to connect? What are we trying to connect? You said people. The people who, who are in particular. Trainers. Yeah, trainers, and teachers. teachers, and students. Not only students, but students and students. Teachers and teachers. And students in Rwanda, and students in Korea, yeah, anywhere in the world. So if you don't use ICT to connect your students to each other, and students in another country, 
You're not doing your job. That's the point. Connect in education. What does that mean? You need to keep in mind. Then what does that enable us to do? What does that enable Rwandan teachers to do? Connect what? I would say simply because they are learning. They need to have resources to work with and learn from. So in the ICT enables Rwandan teachers to connect new resources. Your students, yourself, and your colleague, especially you need to convince and persuade or somehow empower your leaders as well and your followers, your children. You know, let me tell you about a, children, a story of my children. Because of me, they are very good at this kind of stuff already. Here, in this in different country, and then they still maintain their relationship with their friends back in Korea. Also, they talk to friends in the U.S. My kids, they lived in the U.S., lived in Rwanda, lived in Korea, in different countries. So they are talking to their friends in different continents right now. So if they are exposed, if they are connected to new resources, they happen to have what? More interest. Oh, is this new? Oh, is this interesting? See? So if you use NICT to connect your students to new resources, new resources that happen to stimulate the student's interest. That's what we are looking for when we talk about ICT in education in Rwanda now. And at the end, what we want is facilitating their learning by using ICTs. Remember, okay, connect to the new resources, stimulate interest, facilitate learning. These are captured in our where? We talked about it earlier. These idea, these keywords, this idea, this strategy, these keywords are captured in where? Yes. These exactly what 4E meant. Connected new resources. In other words, expose our students to new resources, new possibilities new opportunities, new friends in Korea, US, UK, Finland, Sweden. And you need to make sure that their interests are raised, stimulated. That's enjoy. Second E. Then third E, yes, yes, engage. Engage so that they can start learning. These are first three E's. Remember this morning I used clickers. What did I tell you about clickers? Is that a good tool for entertaining your students? What is that good for? No one knows. That's right. Why do you need to know where they are in terms of their progress? So that's if they are doing it wrong, so that you may give you or try to give more information about what you are teaching. Exactly. That's the fourth E, evaluate. Evaluate, don't, don't forget, from now on, remember, evaluate is not evaluation anymore. Evaluation is also learning activity. When you use the information you collect using IC like clickers, when you use that information to follow up with the students and make sure that they learn, then it becomes learning activity. When to give the feedback, that's important. That's why you need to use tools and you need to have information. So as at the end, you're going to facilitate their learning. So it all captures in FOE. You uh, see this photo before? Anywhere? Anybody? Yeah, some of you already saw. This is a you know, summary or illustration of the human evolution. From monkeys to, I mean, gorilla? Is it gorilla or chimpanzee? I would say gorilla, I would say. Yeah. And then it becomes human. But the big difference between these and this, anybody? Anybody point out what are the big difference, the biggest differences between this stage and this stage? Human begin to human begin to use tools. 
tools. That, be, that makes human the dominant species on Earth. Before then, humans were chased by dinosaur, lions, and all those <laughs> predators. But with that spears and arrows and sword, now they are dominating. They're hunting, even they're protecting their families from elephants. You know, when I went to Laos, you know, one of the biggest uh, threats in their livelihood is elephants. There's no lions in Laos, the, the Southeast Asian country, a small country. Elephants just rush through the town in mass. Everything's destroyed. All right? So modern day, people use other tools to evolve, to be powerful and, you know, dominant. And now, what is he using? What is he having in his, in his hands? I, yes. That's probably phone, smartphones. What does that mean? At this point, tool is this, and tools that, and maybe cell phone, 2G phone. But this, smartphone, cell phone. Okay. What is the tools in this era? Cell phone. What does that mean? This is a tool. Good for human evolution. Why people use tools? To survive, to be dominant, to advance. So we call this human Homo sapiens. This. How would you name them? Phono sapiens. Phono sapiens. Phone. Phono sapiens. It's not a name I made it up. <laughs> this magazine, Economist, the world, the, you know, renowned, maybe the best magazine of the world about the economy and other things, it says the new human, you know, this, uh, latest ev evolved human race is called Phono sapiens. And it named the Earth planet of phones. You know how many phones in, I would say, in, in Laos, you know, for example, Laos is a very underdeveloped country. You know how many phones, okay, I would say there are 7 million people live in Laos. Only 7 million, half of Rwanda. You know how many phones in Laos there are active? How many phones, smartphones and 2G phone included? Anyone guess? 40 million, oh. He is visionary. <laughs> too much. Too many. Not 45 million. There are 7 million people. At least 7 million phones, I guess. About 21 million. Three times. You know, 7 million people on average have three phones. Your case, how many phones do you have for this? Day? Two phones. Two phones. How many of you? How many you have? Two phones. You have 13 million people living in Rwanda. How many phones do you think you have as a country? Yeah, at least 30 million, I think. I have three phones. <laughs> With my iPad, four. Okay. What I'm telling you, phones, smartphones, IT tools, is not a choice of your having. It's a, it's a, reality already. You have to live with it. So recently, uh, the Rwanda government put a policy called no phone in school policy. Have you, has anybody heard about it? Yeah. yeah. I would say, I believe the, you know, the high authority, high officials already have the next policy, I believe. But the no phone policies, I strongly against. I'm strongly against. You better have use phone wisely policy better than no, no phone policy, I believe. But it will come very soon. I believe you're gonna you know, play a key role to make that policy reality. I hope, I wish. So use the safety tools or any resources you already have wisely. That's your job. That's how innovation begins. Okay, next. So. That's why we developed this outcome matrix. I to, as I told you, these are what you need to do as a teacher. You need to identify the suitable, appropriate CVC-based or CVC learning activities 
I, I reviewed your CVCs. Some of the activities, your CVC is great. Some of the activities, really good when it, com when it comes with ICT. But some activities doesn't necessarily have to have ICT in it. So first job for you is identify what learning activities may be very good for you to have ICTs. Not all learning activities are uh, suitable. You need to know. For example, students are you know, just memorizing words. Does that require any ICT tools? Maybe or maybe not. You'll find out. But it depends on who you are and what strategy you have. But depend, like I said, depends on, depending on who you are, what strategy you have, some activities might be good or might be not, might be not good. The second, you decide what tools might be good, might be suitable, might be appropriate, appropriate for your lesson you just chose. And then, if you are familiar, you're confident, and then you may go out and find the better tools or better ways to deliver the same lesson. That's discover. At the end, you need to actually develop something that you're going to use in class or online. So four of these are connected from here. And then when you do this, and do this, and do this, and that, and that. And then out of this, your committed practices, we expect these four. So these are what we are expected to do when you go back to your school to prepare your lessons. And these are what, it, what we are expecting from your IST enhanced lesson. So by the end of this workshop, maybe by Friday, we would like to see your lesson plan with all the, all the bells and whistles. IST enhanced lesson plan. But it shouldn't be too fancy. It must be very practical and deliverable, you know, realizable, practical. And then we will see how you're going to actually deliver the lesson back in your class. So that's how we come to 4D4Es. We are going to only look at 4Ds and 4Es. There are tons of other things, but we can't cover all. So let's start with the simple 4D I mean and 4E. And we're going to keep improving. How? 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 We're going to have another master training like this next year? No. No. Then how can we keep improving? By implementing, you're going to face the challenges and issues. And also, you're going to solve that issues and problems while you're trying. Alone? No. Together. Together. Two masters teamed up. Also, your district was, are going to have four master trainers. We already contacted some of the school leaders. They're going to join our effort. The collaboration between master trainer, school leaders, Korean volunteers. You know, you know, we have three volunteers assigned two groups. They're going to help you out throughout the workshop. And they're going to work together, not, not only for this workshop, after this. They're going to dispatch to different districts, they're going to work together with you. So working together and pro solving the problem together, we may continue to improve. That's what we call community of practices. We're going to support that. And then if some of you come up with a very good proposal, we're going to support you. Not only you know, uh, providing expertise, but also financial support as well. Yeah. You have a better, I mean, good proposal, good project, good plan, we'll be with you. So keep in mind, this is what you need to practice and improve continuously. And then let's work for these for you. Do this and produce this result. These are impact on students. Okay. Any questions so far? So for, throughout the workshop, you're going to hear 4D, 4E, many, many, many times. So many times. So actually, we develop our workbook around this. So when you look at the one of the workbook, I mean the worksheet, it has guidelines, checklist. We just try to make it simple. I hope that we can help. Yes. So we are focusing 
those schools who have already the infrastructure we need. So we are not select any in-service teachers in your district. Those who have basic ICT skills, understanding, and English skills, we start with them. Later, when people know, oh, those who, who've been trained by Katie is making different things, making differences in classes and changing culture, that's when the real change begins. So you are the leader of this change. That's why we called you leader, and then we motto is, have you seen anybody in our motto? Our motto is connect, enable, and lead. You are leaders. When you get the certificate by the end of this week, you're going to be leader whether you choose or not. Okay, so 4D4E, you are already all memorized. Thank you very much, every, everyone. And again, welcome all to Master Trainer Training. Thank you very much. <laughs>